finally a clean workbench. It's about time. But welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be a video, not so much about the car, but just the environment. So I started cleaning up the garage a little bit. Um, I'm working on something with the Miata. I'm working on this little engine stand thing that will be released in about a month. But this video is mainly going to be about setting up an air system inside the garage. So I have the hose reel mounted over there and right now it's just looking pretty. Um, there's no function to it. Uh, I have my compressor, which I have to lug around that hose over there every time I wanna do something. So um, we're gonna get all this addressed where we're gonna run some PVC pipe all along this wall and then all across to where it ties into the plasma as well as I'm gonna have a fitting up on the bench to where I can use uh, shop air essentially on the bench. And then I'll have the retractable reel to where I can take it outside, um, bring it around the garage, whatever, uh, anywhere I need it. So um, I got some half inch PVC pipe. This is the thick stuff. I didn't wanna risk using the, the thinner stuff because I don't want it exploding. Um, I picked up these little guys at Harbor Freight. They are $4 a piece. I picked up five of them. I have one for the hose reel, one for the compressor, um, one that goes to the plasma cutter, one that goes to the bottom side of the workbench, and then one that is gonna be on the top side of the workbench. Um, I have a shutoff valve that will go to, uh, they'll split the um, plasma and the uh, workbench. And then I picked up a T, this will split the plasma and the workbench. And then um, I picked up these little fittings, which will allow me to plug in these hoses into the PVC pipe. And then obviously the T will uh, go right on the bottom of the compressor where it'll shoot over to the hose reel. And then it'll go back towards the workbench. Obviously some PVC glue, so it seems pretty straightforward. And I'm super excited about it because now I won't have to either lug the compressor around or um, lug the hose around. So. Yeah, super exciting and I'm ready to get started on it, so let's get to it. All right, so I got this little thing built. Um, obviously the air supply is gonna be coming in right here. We have our lockout valve. This one is going to come up to a hole that I'm gonna drill right here. And then this fitting is going to pretty much be on top of the bench like that. And then I will be able to connect this little guy up to it and that will be air supply for the top of the bench. Then we have this line that comes down with this fitting and that's going to plug directly into the back of the plasma right there. So the fitting is going to be right or the lock off is going to be right down there and then uh, the hose is going to run right around the workbench to the plasma and then the other one's going to go run up to that hole up there. So check this out. And just like that, we have an air supply. So the fitting is nice and tight on the bench. It's not going anywhere. And then if I need to do something, we just connect the hose up and it's pretty much good to go. So I can either blow something off right here or even run like a pneumatic tool of some sort to uh, work on whatever I'm working on. So super stoked about that. And we just have to feed a PVC pipe along here around the water heater and then back over to the compressor. So we'll start working over on the compressor side next. The compressor side's done. It wasn't that big of a deal. All we had to do was pretty much glue the T on and then put all the fittings together, but it's plugged into the compressor. That's going to drop right down here. And then that will distribute the air supply to the left and also to the right. So now we're going to move on to the hose reel. All right, so this one requires a 90. Um, there's the fitting that it screws into. So if we put the 90 like that and then drop the hose down where it's going to come into another 90 to go across to the air supply, uh, should work. So let's give it a shot. So at first I wanted to drop it straight down, but it was too long. So I made it go directly across, as you guys can tell right there, and it actually came out perfect. So super happy about that, but now it's time to actually run the PVC along all the way around the water heater and over to the bench. Um, I am missing a 90 degree fitting, so we won't be able to get all the way around the water heater today, but at least we can build all the rest of it. And I also, 
have to get a couple more of these fittings. Um, one for the other side of this, um, one coming off the hose reel, and theoretically the air system should be done. Um, I need to put a drain in it somewhere uh, because as you guys know, when you run a compressor, um, moisture develops and it comes out of either your air tool or when you're um, painting something, uh, you'll see like water droplets come out. That's what happened when I painted the top on my truck. Um, there's a couple little water droplets on there. Not too bad, but um, definitely need a drain or like a moisture trap somewhere in the system. So yeah, um, I'll keep you guys updated here in a second when we start cutting some pipe. Alrighty guys, so I got the uh, PVC pipe ran all the way along to where the system's closed now. So it's 100% done. Um, I do wanna get clamps just to tidy it up against the wall, but um, I have all the fittings on the end and we'll just go a little overview on what I did over here. Same thing, that's teed off into the compressor so that can distribute the air. And then we have PVC pipe running back behind the water heater, coming all the way down over here. Oh, you can't really see it. There it is. Comes right there to the shutoff, and then we have that hose going to the uh, plasma cutter, and then we have this one coming up to the top of the bench. So let's go ahead and fire up the compressor and stand back just make sure it's going to be safe and we'll see how this thing turns out so see you guys in a little bit so the compressor just turned off and i'm super nervous to go in here because of the amount of pressure that the compressor puts out um it should be right around 150 psi um the pvc is rated for 600 so we should be good there it's about 95 on the plasma um we have a little regulator right here on it so that's good um the air chuck is over here so let's even see if we have air first oh yeah we have it pretty good right there so pop this off let's go look and see what we're on the gauges i don't hear anything hissing so we don't have any leaks We are right at 140. So, yeah, nothing's hissing at all. Let's check and see if we have pressure at the table, which we should. <laughs> Can't do it. Hold on real quick. There we go. So, obviously, it was uh, fighting me, but we have pressure on the table so sweet it works um i'll talk to you guys about the price here in a second all right so let's talk about the cost of the whole system that i just did um excluding the compressor even though you can get one on offer up for like 200 bucks uh the hose reel took majority of the price this was 70 dollars with the coupon um and then we spent an additional 30 dollars for all these little flex lines and then um, some of these couplers right here. So $30 at Harbor Freight plus the 70 for the hose reel, that's a hundred bucks. And then I spent another 50 at Lowe's for obviously the PVC pipe, um, the adapters to uh, turn it into the rubber hose and then the brass fittings down there. So um, $150 for a nice little shop air setup. Uh, I'll take that all day long. Um, <laughs> it's super simple to set up and you can add like filters you can add um air to water separators you could do all kinds of stuff to this thing but just for your basic setup like i just did uh it's fairly cheap so hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in about a week where we are going to discuss what's going on with the miata so see you guys then